Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Since its maiden flight on June 30th, 1968, the Lockheed-built C-5 Galaxy has been a cornerstone of U.S. military airlift operations, revolutionizing global mobility. For years, until 1982, it held the title of the world's largest and heaviest aircraft, a testament to its engineering significance. But behind this aerial giant's impressive performance lies a demanding world of maintenance and logistics, where skilled crews work tirelessly to keep the aircraft mission ready. Powered by four General Electric F-138 engines, each generating 51,250 pounds of thrust. The C-5 boasts a wingspan of 223 feet, a length of 248 feet, and a towering height of 65 feet. Its cavernous cargo bay measures 13.5 feet high, 19 feet wide, and nearly 144 feet long, capable of holding up to 36 standard cargo pallets or a maximum payload of 281,001 pounds. Depending on the cargo that we carry, it's easier to load, uh, especially like uh, pallets, things like that. It's easier to load from the back to, in our uh, truck bed mode is what they call it, uh, where then once we have bigger objects like boats, helicopters, things like that, uh, the aircraft has a special capability to where we can kneel. Uh, the aircraft will essentially lower itself to the ground and then we can load larger cargo through the front end. With a maximum takeoff weight of 840,000 pounds, the Galaxy reaches speeds up to 518 miles per hour and has an unrefueled range of approximately 5,524 miles. A dedicated crew, consisting of a pilot, co-pilot, two flight engineers, and three load masters, ensures the aircraft remains a vital asset for rapid global deployment. Maintaining the massive C-5 Galaxy is no small feat, especially when it comes to servicing its landing gear. With an empty weight of approximately 380,000 pounds, lifting this aviation giant off the ground demands powerful, purpose-built equipment. To achieve this, six heavy-duty fuselage jacks, each capable of lifting over 60 tons, are employed. These jacks are strategically placed at the front, center, and rear of the aircraft to evenly distribute the tremendous weight, ensuring a safe and stable lift. Their role is critical, allowing maintenance crews to gain full access to landing gear components and other undercarriage systems with precision and safety. Although the process of jacking up the C-5 is time intensive, it remains a vital step in the aircraft's detailed maintenance routine, ensuring continued airworthiness and mission readiness for one of the world's largest transport planes. Maintaining the rear section of the C-5 Galaxy presents unique challenges due to the aircraft's immense size and the limited accessibility of these high-mounted components. Standard ground-level inspections simply aren't feasible in these areas. Instead, maintenance crews rely on specialized equipment, 
most notably cranes, to safely reach these elevated sections. By carefully positioning technicians at the required height, cranes provide the necessary vantage point for detailed inspections and precision maintenance. Operating on land provides a lot of options for maintaining aircraft. However, the same cannot be said at sea. For the 60 to 70 planes and helicopters assigned to a U.S. Nimitz-class carrier, maintenance must be done with minimal space and minimal room for error. All modern aircraft carriers boast a large hangar bay just a few levels down from the flight deck. This is where the majority of maintenance and upkeep occurs. Though the hangar decks are typically quite cramped, crews have everything they need to keep their aircraft in proper working order. However, if a plane or helicopter needs an engine overhaul, major structural repair, or complex system upgrade, it will typically be returned to shore. Maintenance teams are easily recognized on board an aircraft carrier thanks to their bright green shirts. These men and women work tirelessly to ensure all the planes and helicopters on board are mission ready at all times. Just like on land, all aircraft maintenance on carriers follows a well-defined cycle known as the maintenance phase. This phase comprises several stages, including pre-flight maintenance, post-flight maintenance, daily inspections, turnaround inspections, periodic inspections, and major maintenance intervals. Helicopters play an irreplaceable role in the ranks of the militaries of the world. From carrying troops from and into battle to sling loading cargo across the battlefield, the heavy lift helicopter has become indispensable. But these aerial giants must be maintained to ensure safety and extend their service lives for as long as possible. Helicopters like the CH-53 Sea Stallion entered service during the Vietnam War. It would take five years before the upgraded CH-53D would be introduced in 1967. By 1971, the U.S. Marine Corps upgraded to the CH-53E Super Stallion with an additional engine and rotor blade. Super Stallion was the longest serving version with minor upgrades until the CH-53K King Stallion was introduced in 2023. The Marines refer to the King Stallion as the Kilo. The Kilo feels great uh, compared to the Echo. Uh, it does feel different. Uh, it's much, uh, it's very intuitive. 
Uh, you do have to work less to fly it. Uh, it's a lot more systems intensive, but uh, the systems are very easy to use and they're very quick to get used to. In order to deploy the CH-53K King Stallion to where its abilities are required, it needs to fit into U.S. Air Force transport aircraft, such as the C-17 Globemaster III. When the CH-53K was developed, Sikorsky, its designer, considered that the King Stallion would have to be air transportable. Therefore, it was built for a tight fit inside the C-17. Maintainers still have to remove the rotor from the helicopter and fold its tail before it will fit. At 33,000 pounds, the King Stallion is too heavy to load only manually. Therefore, the loadmaster of the C-17 employs the aircraft's cargo winch. With the cargo winch, the helicopter can be pulled slowly into the cargo area of the C-17. So the CH-53K, it obviously filled the entire cargo compartment, uh, so it provided a good training opportunity for our loadmasters. Uh, so they were able to load very large cargo and also coordinate with the Marine Corps to make sure they were able to safely and quickly load the cargo into the airframe. The U.S. Marine Corps provides all of its aircraft with maintenance based on maintenance cycles. Hey, Brzezina, you know you don't need to take that top row off just enough so they can pull it down and look in, right? Routine maintenance is carried out before and after every flight. Routine maintenance is the less invasive kind executed by the Aviation Maintenance Marines. During pre-flight checks, they are responsible for performing exterior checks where the fuselage is inspected for leaks and damage of loose panels. Once pre-flights are complete, the crew of the CH-53K takes the aircraft on its required mission. The King Stallion can transport various types of cargo internally, as well as being able to carry external loads. Internally, it is able to airlift 30 passengers or troops, 24 casualty litters, 35,000 pounds of cargo, or variations of these. The kilo is used by the U.S. Marine Corps to perform sling load missions whenever they require large loads to be moved around the battlefield. It is rated to lift 36,000 pounds, but between its forward and rear cargo hooks, it is rated for 27,000 pounds. Once the load to be airlifted is secured, the pilot of the King Stallion is notified, and they fly in for the hookup. Helicopter support teams, or HSTs, are utilized by the Marines to prepare and control sling loads from the ground. One of the significant advantages of the Kilo above the Echo is that it can lift heavy loads at high and dry altitudes. It lifts loads without a significant decrease in the amount of power available. Its crew consists of a pilot, a co-pilot, and a combination of a crew chief and door gunners.
Additional crew can be included, depending on the mission. The crew in the crew cabin also assists the pilots by providing extra eyes for any possible obstructions during landing and takeoffs. And so the King Stallion sets a new benchmark for heavy lift helicopters, blending advanced technology, greater payload capacity, and unmatched reliability to meet the mission demands of today and the challenges of tomorrow. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.